Yo, what's going on everybody? I just took my picture there, setting that aside. Welcome to feeding time, bitches. <laughs> feeding time, no bitches. I am the big guy Ryback. You guys, tonight my cheat meal for the week is Jack in the Box tacos. Why, why are you doing the Jack in the Box versus the Burger King? <laughs> well, I did uh, Taco Bell versus Burger King tacos, guys. And tonight I'm just going to enjoy some jack-in-the-box tacos. How many? I don't know. I'm going to need a lot of information, though. It's my one cheat meal for the week. And uh, I'm actually, we're going to be doing a Thanksgiving Day Popeye's whole turkey to see a, a competition to see if I can finish and finish it, finish it, the whole Popeye's turkey. I don't know. And that's going to be debuting on Thanksgiving. So you can put the video on of me eating with your family. Okay. Maybe not. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. All right, guys. I'm, uh, this is actually today we're doing a uh, loading up on, on recording for content. I've had a busy day. I haven't stopped. I got up at 6 a.m. today. I, I well, That's actually waking up late for me. And uh, I have not stopped today. Worked out with Nick Best. Squatted 505 for the first time in five years. And deadlifted 375 for 20. Easy. Now, I don't want to say easy, but I, I had probably... If you told me I had to do it 30 times, and if you told me I had to do it 40 or you're going to kill my dogs, I would have done it 40 times. So take that for whatever it is. Pretty fucked up, I know. But um, recorded whining with the Ryback earlier. I had my bottle of wine and uh, a couple brewskis, a couple IPAs. And I'm done. That's it. Now we're going to do 10 tacos. And uh, we're back on track tomorrow. So I appreciate everybody uh, for the love and support. And for those of you that are concerned. Because I have a cheat meal once a week. Thank you. Go bother the fucking rock. And get off my channel. There's nothing better. You guys know. You know. Had a few drinks. Go get some tacos. There's nothing better. I'm, I'm happier than a pig in a blanket right now. Not a lot of talking tonight, guys. A lot of chewing. Wow. One done. I need more information. Before I give my assessment on these jack-in-the-box tacos. I got some, uh, what do we got here? Some hot sauce? Put a little hot sauce on these things. I know a lot of you want to see a Burger King versus Jack in the Box tacos. I'm pretty sure they're made by the same company. <laughs> they taste very similar. Just. Guys, so good. If I was going to the electric chair, this would be a great final meal. I'd be very, I'd be very content with that, with this. Oh. I look forward to this one cheat meal a week. Just absolute shit nutritional value. I'm going to sleep so good. I need more information. 
Oh, more napkins. You know, I, I must know I wipe a lot. Get a handful of these tacos up. How many do I have, guys? I don't know. Well, I do know. I'm, I'm playing dumb for the camera. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I want you guys to, if you guys could follow my friend Nick Best on YouTube here. He's one of the strongest men in the world, a 51-year-old. He is helping me uh, rebuild my body. And uh, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. So, and he's legitimately one of the strongest men in the world. The strongest guy for his age, bar none. But he, uh, he uh, outdoes and hangs and, and with the best in the world and um, is only getting better with age. So and he's just starting his channel on here and putting a lot of good content on there. So follow him and we're going to be training together a lot more. He's also on my podcast this week, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback. If you guys could subscribe to that on any podcast platform that you listen to. And let me know what you think of the show. I'm always trying to improve. If I see enough information that shows me that I, I don't think I'm doing something good, we will make adjustments. So, No ego. I don't know what I'm eating. I don't know if it's real beef. I know there's a lot of oil. But damn it, does it blend together well. More information. I need more information. I've adjusted my um, little light. Now we can't see the light. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Well, I'm sure my face hurts some people's eyes too. But um, here we are. I got a little nice little light. I adjusted it to a different platform. These are so good. And I had a bottle of red wine. Gary Vaynerchuk's Empathy Red Wine. Check their wines out, guys, by the way. Gary Vaynerchuk, shout out to the man. I don't know if I could, like, there's a number I would, like, be able to stop at. Everyone gets better. Oh, there's more tacos. Where's the damn hot sauces? Oh, they're right in front of me. There's a pile. They're mixed together. I don't even know what number we're on. I'm sure you guys are counting. Or one of you are. Leave it in the comments. Ooh. This is fun being able to just eat shitty food in front of everybody. That's all. <laughs> uh, I find I find great enjoyment that that some people find comfort in eating with me during the show. I encourage all of you to get your favorite foods and let's eat together. Table for one, but for two. We were supposed to film today, by the way. Myself, Phoenix Marie, and Jaden Cole. A uh, table for three of us drinking hard liquor. I wasn't going to do a whining with the Ryback episode. I was going to do that with them. 
Their idea, by the way, both cancel on the big guy. But I've learned never, never to put all my chips in one basket. And they're busy, busy ladies. And Jaden was sick in Phoenix again with hockey. She leaves me for hockey routinely. But they promise next weekend. So we will see. I'm going to get them extra drunk for retaliation. need more information, guys. I know a lot of you. There's some really pissed off people right now that just wanted to see me eat a bite or two of the taco and give my opinion of it. Guys, if you don't know what the fuck I do by this point, you're stupid. Stupid. We talk on this channel, and we just fill the talking with eating. It's just a, it's a big mukbang of... This isn't a mukbang, it's only Delta, uh, Jack in the Box tacos, but it's just a whole bunch of nothing with a few golden nuggets mixed in between. Mm. There's nothing I like more after a big heavy day of weight training and conditioning and working all day, just sitting down, a bottle of wine earlier even though it was for working for Ryback TV. You know, this is, I guess this is called working. Somebody's really mad at that right now. Well, that's shot everywhere. That's what it is, though. Oh, boy. I feel like I have a good cheat meal, guys. You push yourself. It's a nice reward for the week. I'm pretty sure I'm a Neanderthal, guys. I've talked about it before. I'm pretty much convinced. I definitely had lived in different periods in time earlier in civilization. Definitely was a caveman. Had a lot of kids. And here I am. I'm back on Earth, trying to fit in with modern times. Ugh, YouTube, internet, Ugh, food. Mm. Me hunt, me kill, me eat, or me order on Postmates. Mm. You guys, there's. I didn't get anything else besides tacos tonight. It's Taco Tuesday. This video is going to be out on a Tuesday, I have a feeling. Taco, Taco Tuesday with the big guy. There we go, Dells. There's the fucking name. Yeah. I hope you guys all have a great, a great, great Thanksgiving, though. I've spent the holidays alone, though, before. When I lived away from wrestling. And I've just found a way to keep myself busy and be happy and find things that made me happy. So, because there's a lot of people that spend the holidays alone. And who the fuck cares, guys? Just don't focus on everybody else. Like, and, like it's because three quarters of the people that are with their families are fucking miserable anyways. So just be happy. Just 
Focus on, sh go watch a movie. Do things that make you happy. Don't like sit and dwell in your like own exist existence and be like, oh, I'm all alone. I'm going to be sad. I didn't do that. I got fucking shit-faced until I was happy. I remember I was Louisville, Kentucky one year. I just got shit-faced. I was like, man, I'm sad. I'm alone for the holidays. Broke up with my girlfriend. Wasn't wrestling. Working a shitty serving job. I got fucking hammered. And guess what? I felt way better for that period of time and watched Wedding Crashers for the millionth time and just did things that made me happy that night. So, I got through it. And I don't regret any of it. So I was just like, and I'm not condoning drinking or anything, but it's like, just don't fucking be like a little bitch and be like, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, oh, no, no. Who the fuck cares? Just do it. Get through it. It makes you tougher. Hopefully you're not alone the next year. Hopefully you're with a hot fucking girl or man or whatever the hell floats your boat. I don't care. If you're alone though for Thanksgiving, I have a turkey with the big guy. Put it on and I'll make sure I'll talk, I'll talk right to you guys when I do that video. I've been there. I need more information. I'm not ready to give my opinion yet on these tacos, guys. I need more information. More information. Ah. I saw that guy, Matt Stoney. Man. One impressive beyond just everything that he's able to eat, the amount of food that he's able to eat at his size. No easy task. Two, the speed at which that, that guy consumes food, absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna try to eat this taco like Matt Stoney and see if I can do it. What do you guys learn? Both of you. We'll try it. We'll do one taco and see that we just That's how he consumes food. And it's beyond amazing to me. And this is a hard shell. So he does like, I've seen him do soft shells. I don't know if he's done hard shells. I don't even fucking know. I feel like though I can, I'm pretty good at anything I do. I don't think I'm going to be good at this. So <coughs> I think I've had nine tacos so far. This is 10. Lucky number 10. I don't even know how you would speed eat this taco like Matt Stoney. What would Matt Stoney do? W-W-M-S-D. What would Matt Stoney do? We need a wristband like that. This is a very complex situation because he, if it was a soft taco, he would fold it, I feel like. And like that. But this is a hard shell. So do I like and like grind it like a wood tree tripper, chipper? I don't know. This is this is all live on YouTube, Ryback TV. Let me just kind of feel this out. These are so greasy too. Ooh. I don't know. I want to. I like enjoying these things though. I don't feel like this is the thing to. Bother. I'll finish it, you dumbass. You said you're gonna do it. You want to see you eat a taco like Matt Stoney. All right, we'll see how quick I can consume this. I can drink liquids doing this. Ah, we'll do it in three, two.
It wasn't horrible. It wasn't great either. The hard shell makes it a lot more difficult because you can't swallow the hard pieces, but I don't know if that was about 15 or 20 seconds, maybe 25 seconds. Not great. I might have a lot of work to do. It wasn't hard though. Like, I mean, what do you guys think? I think I should start trying to do some Matt Stoney stuff. Start off maybe with the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't know. I might be okay at that. I mean, that was a hard shell taco. These guys though are like, these guys have been doing this for years. I'm trying to work my way back up into the game. Get my food consumption up a little bit from what I was doing. Now that I'm, I'm training heavy again and whatnot, but. The guy's a freak, guys. God damn it. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, but LA Beast, that guy does some crazy things too. There's some there's some badass people on YouTube. Johnny Scoville doing the hot shit, UK Chili Queen. I'm just dabbling. I'm just putting my toes on the water, guys. I haven't dove in on any specific field yet. I'm just feeling out my areas. Seeing what I'm okay at and what I'm not okay at, I'm afraid I'm okay to fail. Like if I fail, you know, 49 times, you know, as long as I succeed 51 times, I'm okay. We're 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 ahead of the curve. We're gonna we're gonna come out all right in the long run, the long game. So, well, guys, that was the uh, Jack in the Box tacos. We did uh, 10, um, 10 tacos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, uh, diez. Diez uh, tacos, mi amigos, Taco Tuesday, bitches, here on uh, Ryback TV. And we got a, quite the mess in our hands. I'm going to clean this all up. I'm just going ahead and doing it now and pissing a few people off because I know they, we will hear the room with you. And they're mad that I'm picking up the little pieces, guys, and it gives me great pleasure to continue to pick them up because it doesn't bother. Anyways, guys, talk, uh, they keep wanting to say Taco Bell, Jack in the Box Tacos. If you guys are out with your friends, you're drinking, and uh, you get back to your place, you take an Uber, you don't drink and drive. If you drink and drive and I find out about it, I'm going to bitch slap all of you. I'm going to physically come to your house and bitch slap you, backhand style. Backhand bitch slap you in front of your friends. And it will still knock you out. I promise. I 100% fucking promise you it will knock you out. Um, don't drink and drive. Don't be selfish pieces of shit. Get an Uber. Um, but if you're home and you're drunk and you want some food and you're thinking of Jack in the Box, get the tacos. Guys, those were, those were absolutely delicious. Two thumbs up. I could have been sober and had those. And and again, I wasn't drunk, but I had a little bit of wine for whining with the ride back. And it made it even better. Absolutely amazing jack-in-the-box tacos, guys. And I know there's some of you that maybe that doesn't really quite uh, meet your palate's desires. But for mine, being a ne Neanderthal, living in modern times, amazing. We didn't have stuff like this back in my day. So it's um, it's it's all good to me. All positive. I know, and it's not good to eat this all the time. Eat healthy food, cook your meals at home, guys. But, you know, if you're going to do a cheat meal for the week or whatever your time period is, oh, I have a cheat meal every day, right back for every meal. Well, then, fuck you. You're not going to be healthy long term. But if you do this every once in a while, guys, and I know there's, like, the little people that, like, believe in all the crazy stuff and there's aluminum in all the food, and there probably is. But what the fuck are we going to do? We're all going to die anyways at some point, so... Just try to be as healthy as we can. And there's there's just too much. We're too deep into this game. There's too many people making money in bad ways. So even if we're like, okay, 75% of the time, we're going to still fuck up 25% of the times. Just don't stress about it. Positive, happy thoughts. Treat people good. And let's just leave it at that. And you know, if you decide to have a fucking Burger King triple Whopper with cheese, you get a little bit of aluminum in it, so be it. What are we going to do? People complaining that to me that the food I'm eating has aluminum in it. Aluminum in it. What are we going to do? What do you want me to do? What do, you, what do you specifically want me to do? Tell me in the comments what you want me to do and I do it.
that was a bit much. I apologize, guys. But guys, this was uh, feeding time. And uh, Jack in the Box Tacos, two thumbs up. Five stars. I, I love their style of tacos with the grease. And uh, maybe if you guys want to see a Burger King versus Jack in the Box mukbang, let me know in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see next. It could be a spicy challenge, Ryback right has heat. Um, or if there's a, I know there's a lot of people that want to see me do the Stone Cold Steve Austin IPA. And uh, we've, I got to see if I could find it. It wasn't available online. Sp supposedly there are, there's a place in Vegas that has them. They're expensive, but I don't give a shit about that. If I can get them, I'll get them. And maybe we'll do how many I can drink of those in 30 minutes or something, or 20 minutes, and uh, do a review on those for the Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I've heard they're great, so I wouldn't mind doing that. And uh, yeah, guys, and if uh, we got the, the Thanksgiving deal on Thursday, uh, that's going to be dropping me eating the whole turkey from Popeyes. And uh, for all fan mail, for you guys, this is free for my fans that I've been doing since I left WWE and to this day. Uh, we get a, a, a very good amount of fan mail, and I'm very thankful for. Um, I just ask that you limit it to one or two things to get signed, and you uh, include self a self-addressed envelope uh, for me to make it easier, guys, and to get it all out and get it everything. I put it all together, and I knock it all out, and I read all the letters, and I thank you guys very much for all that. But that's P.O. Box 752740, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. Um, it's also on my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback at the end during the plugs every week on the show, I have that PO box in there guys. So if you do need to, to re-listen to that or just rewind this and listen to it again and, uh, one or two things, please. And it's my way of just saying thank you to all the fans around the world. And, uh, we've been doing this from day one and it's always been on the podcast, but I figured I'd put it on here with everybody with the way the channel's growing as well. And uh, there's no cost. It's just ask that you make sure you have a self-addressed envelope with postage. And uh, we'll get it back. So thank you guys very much. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on FeedMeMore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here. For my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.